Hey everyone, before we start with the video, I just want to say these few things. Now I know I haven't been uploading videos for a long time. Now there's a good reason for that, I'm not going to bore you guys with all that stuff. I just want to say I'm going to be more active, I'm going to upload Dying Light 2 videos, Dying Light videos, and additionally I'm going to have other game videos as well, like making videos on other games too. That's going to include mobile games as well, even PlayStation games, Xbox games, and PC games. Basically, every type of game. So yeah, expect a lot of things on this channel. Now starting with the video. Good evening everyone. Welcome back to Who Wants To Be A Millionaire and this is your host Besky Morali and today's contestant is Male the Noob who is just one question away from being a millionaire. So Malay, are you ready to be a millionaire? Yes, of course. Then here's your final question for one million. When is Dying Light 2 coming out? And your options are A. 2019 B. 2020 C. 2021 and D. 2022 Hmm, let me think. So Malay, what do you think is the right answer? Looks great. So when is it going to come out? Next year? Uh, next year, yeah. 2019. And that's all that we tell at this moment. It's 2019. Lock it. Wait, are you sure? It's a million dollar question, so you want me to lock it? No, B, 2020. Are you sure? Should I lock it? Yes, I'm positive. It's 2020. Alright, B, 2020. Let's lock it and see if you're going to be a millionaire or not. I'm so sorry Malay, that was the wrong answer. Did you not know that the game was actually delayed and it doesn't really have a release date? Wait, then when is Dying Light 2 coming out? I don't know, maybe ask Techline about it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and as you guys know Techline has released two AMA videos and AMA means ask me anything. So we have two different episodes for it and we will look at all the questions from AMA and we'll check out the answers given by Techland. By the way, I'll also be comparing some previous statements of Techland since they have changed their own statements from a while back. Starting with the map size. Now since the game was announced back in June 11, 2018, Techland has been telling us that the game size is 4 times the original game. So slums plus old town into 4. Which honestly is a huge map and I'm not just making anything up. You can watch an old video or some old interviews and also read articles and you will find out that this is the statement they gave. In fact, just type Dying Light 2 map size is 4 times big and search that on YouTube and you will see the official statement from Techlan on Nvidia's channel. And here's a clip. See it yourself. For example, the game world will be 4 times bigger than the whole game before. We also introduced the new animation system. You see that? He clearly said four times big and even in my old videos, I have covered that. Till 2021, we've been thinking that the map is four times big, but Timon in the first episode of AMA said that the map is double the size of the original game. So it's Old Town plus slums into two. Check out this clip of him saying that. So this is something we have said before. It's about double the size of all of the maps from Dying Light 1 combined. If you have played the first game, I think it will be easy for you to imagine how big the map will be. You, will, you just take the slums, you take the old town, you combine them and you double the number. And that's roughly the size of the game space in Dying Light 2. Now if you don't understand what I'm trying to say, well this is what Techland said the map size would be of Dying Light 2 back in 2018. Now in 2021, this is what the map size would be of Dying Light 2. Now this is a big difference. Now this doesn't mean the map is small, well two times both the map combined, that is still huge. Four times would have been crazy but hey, two times is still huge. It's possible that they have restricted some areas or removed some extra places that actually served no purpose. 
because if you're making a huge world, then you would need to fill those areas with activities and having too much big of a map restricts that. Take Just Cause series of Far Cry 5 for example, a game where you have zombies or a post-apocalyptic theme, well, you will see less people out in the world and in an open world game, this theme basically can't have huge map. Now some will say, hey, Days Gone had a big map, but we had fun, it had a lot of activity as well. Guys, Days Gone had a bike for traveling, so let's not talk about that. In Dying Light 2, you have limited vehicles. That too are only available for certain missions, means you can't always access it, which is a bummer. Now the next question is regarding the new infected zombie we saw in the dev update video. One with the multiple arms and the question also talked about volatiles. So Timon said that the zombie with the multiple hands, you can actually spawn him in your own world by making choices. You make wrong choices that can lead to this zombie mutation. Talking about the volatiles, they are way more scary than the volatiles from the first game. Also the devs are going to drop more info about the new infected zombie very, very soon. Next question. Are there going to be zombies at night or will we see some wandering around on the rooftop? Well, we already knew the answer to this question, but still, let's see what Timon said. He said you will find zombies outside, but they will be weak and slow, but still they can attack you. Also, the rooftops will be used by humans for farming and for other various activities. Something we already knew. Next question. So what about the guns? Well, let's see what Timon says. This is something we have also been telling you guys already. So. Uh... There are no firearms in the world of Dying Light 2. What? What the fuck? No firearms? Wait, wait, I think it was Timon back in Gamescom 2018 when he said maybe someone has gun or shotgun, you know, in the world of Dying Light 2. It's a much rare stuff that you can't store in your backpack. It can be utilized right there and then. So uh, I think it was him only who said that. It will be bows, crossbows, but maybe someone has some gun or maybe a shotgun, but that's basically a magic missile in this world. This is like a magic thing you can use to, to overcome any situation. But that's not usual, you don't come to see that often. It's just a rare thing that happens from time to, from time, to time. I mean, see, it's understandable, it's modern Dark Ages theme, so who would be making guns or ammo, right? But hey, you can still craft DIY guns, you can make them. It's possible, people do it. So I don't see a reason not to add that in the game. Plus it's funny how some statements are changed, so crazy. Anyways, next question. Is the grappling hook still in the game as it was in the extended gameplay trailer? If yes, how does it work? Well again, we already know how the grappling hook looks and how does it work. Remember, keep this in mind when asking Techland these questions. Techland will never share extra info than what we already have been told in the community. So they answered the questions for those topics that we already knew the answers for. So the answer to this question was, so the grappling hook in Dying Light 2 is way better than of Dying Light. It's realistic in terms of mechanics and looks. It works different. Obviously, you won't be Spider-Man. You'll be more like a real life climber. So you will do parkour and use your hook to get into some places where it will be impossible to reach without a grappling hook. So Dying Light 1 grappling hook makes you Spider-Man and Dying Light 2 grappling hook makes you Tarzan. Come on, my dude, I really love this example. Next question, will there be cars, vehicles in the main game area? The answer is yes and no. <laughs> the answer is yes because it's only available during one specific mission that we saw in the last demo. No, because there's no other vehicle except that. So to travel in Dying Light 2, there are other traversal methods that are way more interesting than actually driving, according to Timon. Which is right if you look at the, uh, the way the map is made and all the locations we have in the game. Now the next question. Now this question is connected with the previous question. Um, so how diverse are the regions in Dying Light 2? Will we see field and plains or any additional locations? Timon said the game takes place inside a city and it's diverse. It has two main area, one looks like old town and the other one looks like a downtown with huge skyscrapers. And within those regions we have seven different zones and you can make choices and assign those places some factions. I said it in a different way but yeah, you are going to give those factions, uh, you know, those places basically. So depending on your choices, you can end up with a completely different looking area, which is cool. I mean, we already knew about this. So guys, um, that was it for the first part of the AMA. Now I don't understand why 
would someone ask the same question? I just feel like that line doesn't want to answer the other questions people asked, like about the PvP, about the multiplayer. I guess they're not ready to answer all those questions. That's why they kind of rejected that and answered these questions that we already knew about. Uh, he did sort of elaborate it, but he just gave out zero information than what we already knew. So nothing new, things we already knew about, but hey, it's good. It's keeping the community uh, sort of updated with Dying Light 2. Anything, guys, you put out there about Dying Light 2, I'm good. You guys are awesome. You guys are doing a great job, and we, Dying Light community, are going to support you in every possible way. So, guys, yeah, that's it. And, by the way, there is a part 2 to this video as well, because the AMA part 2 was out when I was recording this thing. So, yeah, I'm working on that video, so expect that in a few days. Now, thank you for watching. Good night and good luck.